Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna. Welcome back to the latest Spanish news update and in particular Benidorm news update. What's going on? What are the upcoming festivities? What's the atmosphere looking like right now towards the end of October already? And what's the weather going to be uh, like? Those of you who are coming right now on holidays, you will be really uh, lucky. But that towards the end of today's video. Let's start today with the situation in tourism. What's going on? What are the future upcoming huge events in Benidorm town and surrounding region? And then to other news about something that you should check on really, really well when you're using transfers from the airport to Benidorm town or any other area here in Spain on holidays. And the last news will be about brand new change on the beach line of Benidorm, both on the Levante and Corniz beach. And at the end, as usual, the weather forecast. So let's dive into it. First of all, the situation update. As you all know, it's been really, really busy. And even here around Benidorm in Albir village, which is where we are right now, it is so sunny, so nice, so warm. All the paid sunbeds are still here. There's a lot of people walking around, as you can see here on the short clip that we've inserted. And the beach is full. It is stunning how summer season just does not let go and continues in our region, even though we are not technically in the peak summer months already and we are in calendar autumn. There are many big festivities that will be happening shortly. One of them is Benidorm Fiestas, November Fiestas. They're happening every single year, beginning of November. This year is going to be between 8th and 13th of November. There's going to be fair right by the Plaza de Toros in Benidorm. There's going to be uh, markets, like crafts markets. There's going to be concerts. There's going to be mascletao, which is firecrackers. There's going to be fireworks and much, much more here in town. So definitely you'll have plenty of things to do if you're coming here in November. Even if you don't, you can check this information out to decide whether maybe next year you will be arriving here in November on the Fiestas celebration. We have quite a lot of videos from previous years for you to check so that you would see what the atmosphere is looking like. Even if uh, we're still not there, not in fiestas, but there is a lot of preparation already and Benidorm's town hall has issued an official communication where they say they will alter a tiny bit the timetables for mascleta firecrackers and for small firecrackers as well, uh, plus the fireworks and loud music. Before, there was no harsh regulation on it and uh, people were not able to sleep because you could hear firecrackers even at night early in the morning any time of the day during siesta hours too mostly and now it is forbidden to use firecrackers during siesta time and um, also past the usual bedtime so past like 11 12 at night it is not possible to use firecrackers after the main concerts and uh, fireworks are officially over which is great because uh, people will be able to enjoy it but at the same time the the option to get some good nights of sleep is still respected during these celebrations which we actually value a lot on the 26th of october slightly earlier than that there's going to be the day it's called dia de las peñas uh, which is a day when all the official associations that are in charge of these celebrations uh, will gather together and there's going to be a big concert. There's going to be a lot of movement by the town hall at La Guera Park in Benidorm and you will be able to hear quite a lot of music happening on there. But I don't think people from outside will be able to access it, sadly. Only the organizations will and those who have special bracelets. But... Even so, we will be able to enjoy some good traditional November fiestas shortly here on the channel with all of you. The second news that I wanted to share with you all is an authentic, in Spain it's called Tren de la Bruja, which is this one right here. It's the witch's train, which means that it is scary. It is not good at all. This is how some of the shuttle transfer services actually are here in Costa Blanca. Sadly, you cannot trust 
everyone and anyone whenever you're booking your holidays many people trust it because they see oh well it looks like a transfer it acts like a transfer must be a transfer and a lot of the times um, these people do not have a license to do it their vehicles aren't registered they don't have an insurance that will cover if something happens on road with you or with themselves or with the vehicle uh, and they will not be liable for anything that will happen during your transfer. This time in Benidorm, uh, one of these vehicles has been stopped. This is the official information right here. And according to the official uh, press release from the national police and local police as well here in Benidorm, what they say is that this vehicle was lacking safety belts. Lacking safety belts. It had... Um, these air fresheners like sprays instead of fire extinguishers which are mandatory in these types of vehicles in any vehicle uh, and the, the the wheels were in a really really bad state cracked and at some points they were even like broken they were teared apart and much more some things were were uh, like adjusted with something that are like bags or seem to be plastic that is not how it should be and it was in a really really bad state it was lacking the insurance it didn't have any kind of permit to, or a license to do it like this this vehicle why was it stopped because it was circulating around benidorm town around touristic areas uh, simply waiting for people to say hey pick me up uh, is it my transfer you know or or I need a transfer they were just circulating around seeing what they can get and uh, police just stopped them to check it out they've seen that they have obviously on the back they've had suitcases too and um, they are facing quite a big fine right now to be honest with you um, how can you know if a business if a shuttle bus if the transfer vehicle is actually a valid transfer vehicle if it has all the paperwork if everything's all right first of all whenever you book on the official website whenever you book um somewhere where you can see the advertisement the uh, float of the vehicle somewhere where you get a customer service where you have an email where you have the like, contact details and all of it where you get confirmation of your booking these are usually genuine transfers. There's a lot of them here, but smaller, bigger companies, a little bit of everything, but these are genuine transfers. If you see cars here in Spain have um, license plates on both sides. I know there are some countries that only have them or, or at front or in the back, but here in Spain is on both sides, front and the back. So the front will be normal Spanish numbers and the back of it will be the same numbers, but in blue color. All of the license plate will be blue. That means that this vehicle as it is, has been registered as a transportation vehicle, which also means they have an insurance for it. They will be liable in case you suffer an accident. In case something happens during your trip, they will cover all of it because it's a legitimate company. This is why it is very important because obviously people are looking how to get here maybe cheaper, um, not such an expensive private transfer maybe, but everything has a price and uh, these companies or not even a company these just groups of people will be doing so until something bad happens and uh, going by a highway 120 kilometers per hour or minimum 100 without seat belts on in a car with no insurance that would cover yourself i wouldn't risk it would you let us know if you've seen these types of cars around Benidorm town but this one at least has been caught and let us know as well which kind of transfer do you prefer let's have a small debate here who prefers typical traditional transfers like Benny Connect maybe there's any other transfer that you've used and uh, you've enjoyed the service that they provided and you could recommend it to other fellow travelers here on the channel we'll read your comments here down uh, below and the last news that i wanted to share with you is about a recent change that finally happened on the beach line in benidorm both levante and poniente beach have changed it completely it's made out of recycled plastic 100 uh, percent so these like roads like mat mats uh, they're going from the beginning of the beach 
almost towards the water, towards the seafront, very close to the sea. And these mats are used to ensure that everyone is able to enjoy the beach. It is everywhere now. It's uh, around 50 places where they've installed them every now and then on the beach in the accessible points. Why? Because not always uh, it's just you or not always it's just a couple. There are people with children, with boogies, with a wheelchair, with bicycle right now who are just traveling, doing some sports, then they want to go close to the beach, have a quick swim and then jump on the bicycle and go go back home no or continue the traveling so it was very very difficult even right now i can see for example people with boogies right here in albir who uh, were able to get towards the water because there are these mats in albir too see people with boogies calmly getting back from the beach because they were able to access it comfortably and this was one of the main issues. You either had to leave a boogie or you had to ask for someone's help, you know, just to carry it towards the seafront. Now it's not the case any longer. You're able to move perfectly. And even with a wheelchair, you're able to get closer towards the beach line to so enjoy the views, the sound of the waves, the birds, the nature in general, the amazing, incredible nature that we have here in the region. So it is great that we have them installed. Benidorm is not the first one in Albir. There are these type of mats already. Uh, in Benidorm, it wasn't the case, but now it is 50 of them in the whole entire beachfront of Benidorm. Let us know if you enjoy this news. I'm quite sure that it is also more comfortable to get to the beach, especially in our area where there are pebbles. Though there's like, there are like stones like these and slightly bigger ones towards the sea. It is uncomfortable without specific water shoes to get to the seafront and then come back here because it hurts, you know, after swimming in the water. And this is an incredible alternative to be slightly more comfortable and accessible. That is the main point. So I'm very happy that Benidorm is changing constantly. You know that they're putting more greenery, they're uh, improving the promenade on the Poniente beach with some more flowers, uh, some more trees, natural shades, Mediterranean Avenue is very nice and will be very, very nice once the project is finally over and finished and done from scratch. Brand new Mediterranean Avenue will be more or less like the end of it. Pedestrian priority, bicycles and only the electric scooters. That's that. Barely any cars or public transport with very, very low speed. Uh, everything is changing, uh, the, even the skyline is changing, but all of it is towards the better future that Benidorm holds here. And now let's have a short walk and we'll show you what the weather is looking like right now. You will be surprised on how many people there are here today. It's not weekend, it's Friday when we're filming this video and it looks like it is weekend here. Usually there is barely any tourists there are tourists but not so many and there's not so many people on the beach as per se at the end of october but this time it is absolutely gorgeous look at the gorgeous sky right now blue the bluest quite a lot of people right there technically altea starts but still here in alvir quite a lot of people by the beach a lot of people are using sunbeds and enjoying this loveliest time by the seashore. Just look at that. The beginning of the beach, the beginning of the Albier beach especially, looks really, really vivid today. Overall, it's going to be sunny and nice during the day of today. It might be raining in some parts of Spain, like Balearic Islands, for some reason. But here, by Mediterranean, there shouldn't be any kind of rain. Uh, probably by Wednesday we might expect some drops but it shouldn't be something it shouldn't be nothing major no uh, wind storms or no uh, rainstorms expected it is true we have quite a strong wind though uh, that comes every now and then and we've had it for the last three days more or less but hopefully it's going to be gone very very soon because it is quite annoying I must say as for the temperatures, we have around 22 to 23 degrees today. That is due to the very strong wind. If not, the 
temperature will be around 25 to 26 degrees. This weekend and uh, up until Wednesday, we will have lovely temperatures of 25 to 26, and then we'll get back to 22 to 23 back again. Thank you for accompanying us on today's Benidorm news update, Spanish news update from the gorgeous sunny region of Costa Blanca. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still did not do so, because like this, YouTube will recommend our videos to even more visitors. And if you'll write us a comment or even just click a like below any of our videos, that would help us a lot because YouTube would push our videos further to the top and show it to more people who might be interested of our region but still don't know that we exist. We wish you an incredible day, great holidays if you are on once or will be shortly, and maybe we'll see some of you here in the region of Benidorm. Bye, Dees!